Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to install CocoaPods. First of all, what is CocoaPods? CocoaPods is a dependency manager for Swift and Objective-C Cocoa projects. And it's very big, it has over 33,000 libraries, and it's used in over 2.2 million apps. CocoaPods can help scale your projects elegantly, which is why I'm going to show you how to install them. So if we just scroll down on their website to the install section, we have to open terminal and we're going to use Ruby to install CocoaPods like this. So go to Launchpad or wherever you have terminal and open terminal. Wait for it to uh, initially load. And after this is done, the first thing you want to type in is sudo. So you have sudo, so you have administrative access. And you type in gem, install, and CocoaPods, just like it says right here. Then, after you type this in, you want to press enter, and it'll take about five minutes to install. I've already done that, so I'm just going to delete this. I don't want to install it again. After you've installed it, you'll probably see something like succeeded in installing 21 gems, 22 gems, something like that. And after that's done, uh, don't close terminal. You want to type in the next thing, which is going to be pod setup. And then press enter. And then it's this this is gonna actually set up the cocoa pods. This is gonna take a little bit longer. This will probably take about like 30 to 40 minutes. I think that's how long it took with me. So while you're waiting for it, you can read a book, watch a movie, I don't know, something like that. I've already set them up and I don't want to wait for them to set up again, so I'm not gonna type that in. Now that you have installed your pods and set them up, you are ready to go ahead and uh, create a new Xcode project in Xcode, or if you already have a project you're using, just use that one. I'm going to select a single view application. I'm going to call this Coco Pods, and this is my team, organization name, organization identifier. For the language, choose Swift or Objective C if you want to. For the devices, choose universal iPhone or iPad, and you can select these if you want, but I'm not going to. Save it where you want. I'm actually going to save it on my desktop and click create. So now that you have created your Xcode project, click on this group, click new file, and by default you'll probably be up here. You just want to scroll the way down and select empty then click next and you must call this file pod file like this and I suggest installing it in the first directory right here along with your Xcode project and your folder click create and there is your pod file so what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna implement the uh, CocoaPod libraries that we want to use and as it said there are 33,000 libraries so if you're searching for something specific, you can click on the search bar and type it in. Let's say you want a material design kit, material. So once you have found your pod, it'll probably say how to implement it there. I already know which one I'm gonna be implementing. It's called Canvas. It's very nice. So on their website, let's click get started. And this is how you would implement pods. So select that copy it, then go back to your pod file in Xcode, and paste it in there. However, there are some things we need to change. The first thing we want to change is this. Um, we're not using iOS 8 anymore. We're actually going to use iOS 10. If you are building for an earlier version, then you can do that. For target my app, we're going to change my app to our target, which happens to be Coco Pods. And they must be in these two and they must be inside these. And then inside, these are the pod, these are the library implementations. Right now we're going to implement Canvas. So pod, Canvas. And for this one, it's not necessary to type in the version. 
So after you've done that, you don't need to save it or anything because it does it automatically. And we are going to go ahead and open up Terminal again. Because now that we have implemented the pod, the pod we want in the pod file, we actually need to build that. We actually need to like install the pods into this project. So what we need to do is we're going to type in CD. And then we're going to go to our desktop. And here's our project right here. We're going to drag it right after the CD. Now you must have, you must type in CD first. Type in CD and then the directory of your project. So we have our directory open right now and just type in pod install. And this will take a little bit of time, uh, probably like a couple seconds to install the pod. If you have more, it might take more. If you have only one, it won't take too much. And the pod installation is complete. There's one dependency from the pod file, one right here, and total pod installed. So we can close terminal now. Let's quit terminal two so it doesn't use up my CPU. So as you can see, we actually have a new folder here. But if you look back to what it said in terminal, it said you have to open it in a different folder. So we need to close our project. Let's go back to our desktop and open our project. As you can see, we have a podfile.lock. We have a pods folder, and we have a new file here called XC Workspace. So just open that really quick. Let's close Finder. And let's make this larger. So now that you have created your new project, we have two Xcode project files. We have Cocoa Pods and Pods. This is where our library is. And now we have installed Cocoa Pods. We have set them up and we have added them to this project. So that is all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, we have many, many more programming videos. I just started a HTML and CSS tutorial series. So if you want to check that out, that would be great and I'll be seeing you in the next video.